major objective of Tyrus is to duplicate natural created gemstones and industrial crystals by growing them using hydrothermal processes. We would like to show you the equipment used in some of the labs. Here we are modulating the hydrothermal processes in a theoretical environment. This unique equipment designed by Tyrus engineers enables us to accurately predict the outcome of an experiment. Therefore, we can theoretically calculate the ratio of chemicals and natural elements that are needed inside a pressurized vessel, position the seed needed for crystal formation, and a flow of the convection. A team of our scientists developed software that integrates and controls all parameters necessary to maintain and sustain crystal growth for the time duration of the process. We will use a transparent glass model of an autoclave to show how we grow emeralds. A quantity of low quality emeralds is placed in the bottom of the vessel. A bracket with the seed burl is placed inside. The seed is cut from high grade natural crystal. Part of the autoclave is filled with a special solution. It is hermetically sealed using specialized equipment. We are now inside the production facility. These are the safety boxes for hydrothermal growth of different crystals. The special heating device is located inside the metal box. The prepared autoclaves are placed inside. The door of this special metal box is closed. Then the safety doors of the box are closed carefully. For the next few weeks, the process of crystal growth takes place. The temperature inside the autoclave is compared to the temperature in nature during the crystallization process. The pressure can reach thousands PSI. This is a central process unit. At the end of the cycle, the autoclave is taken out and cooled prior to being opened. This is what hydrothermally grown crystal looks like. We are now in a laboratory for the horizontal crystallization process. This is a floating method where the process is carried out at a temperature exceeding 2,000 degrees Celsius and a vacuum of gas environment. This method is used for producing alexandrite, YAG or YAG, and rubies. We are currently finishing the construction of a new facility to expand the production techniques. Here are just a few crystals grown by Tyrus. Emerald. Aquamarine. Red Burl. Ruby. Pink Sapphire. Sapphire, yellow sapphire, padbaracha or orange sapphire, and alexandrite. Nature created perfection. Tyrus continues this tradition.